माई सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर नितिन राठी आई एम वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर पर्मोलॉजिस्ट इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन धर्मशिला नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल वसुंधरा एनक्लेव सिंस लास्ट वन ईयर डियर फ्रेंड्स टूडे वील टॉक अबाउट आई एल डी इंटेस्टिशियल लंग डिसीज दिस इज द डिसीज इन विच द लंग्स इज गोइंग टू शंकन देर इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर इन द लंग्स दैट इज कॉल्ड इंटेस्टिशियम इन दिस डिसीज इंटेस्टिशियम इज गोइंग टू बी थिकंड बाई एनी कॉज ड्यू टू ऑक्यूपेशन ड्यू ड्यू टू एनी एलर्जिक एजेंट और ड्यू टू एनी ड्रग दैट्स वाई वैन वी इनहेल द ऑक्सीजन द ऑक्सीजन इज नॉट गोइंग टू पास इन टू द ब्लड एंड दैट्स वाई द ऑक्सीजन लेवल लोअर्स डाउन एंड पेशेंट बिकम डिस्नेक दिस इज द बेसिकली आई एल डी देर आर अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड टाइप्स ऑफ आई एल डीज we can categorize basically into five categories idiopathic there is not uh, not a known cause is there occupational ilds the person who is work in uh, industrial area just like asbestosis sil- silica industry cement factories and the person who is going to farm uh, pigeon and the uh, cattles and pets there are uh, categories uh, called connective tissue disorder related uh, the patient who is suffering from rheumatoid arthritis sle scleroderma uh, in this uh, kind of systemic inflammation is there which uh, going to thicken the interstitium uh, there is drug induced uh, ild is uh, also is uh, some drugs just like methotrexate penicillin which also thicken the interstitium and unanimous group sarcoid kind and one group is infe- uh, infectious infection related just like tuberculosis okay now what are the symptoms of ild basically patient come to us in opd with the complaints of dry cough which is barking in nature and uh, exertional dyspnea when the patient walks patient become dyspneic and some systemic uh symptoms also just like eye lesion skin rashes baldness uh, anemia uh, and joint pain how can we diagnose this basically we have to take detailed history of the patient what is his occupation how what is the duration and uh, what is his symptoms if the symptoms are suggestive of ild then we have to examine the patient there is specially crackling sound in the lungs that is called uh, velcro crafts and simultaneously the oxygen level may be lesser down less than 90% is there and there is some systemic uh, presentation is also baldness as i told eye lesion uh, skin rashes may be found how can we diagnose ild we have to order some simple blood test and some special test which uh, diagnose the connective tissue disorders just like ana uh, rheumatoid factor anti ccp kind of things and uh, simultaneously we have to order imaging we have to do simple chest x ray if the chest x ray showed some defect just like reticular shadows we have to order gold uh, standard test hrct high resolution ct scan uh, in uh, 70 to 80% we make the diagnosis by virtue of these investigation if these investigations are not going to help we have to do biopsy of the lung either the help of uh, Uh, bronchoscopy or open lung biopsy when we conclude the diagnosis if this is confirm ild and type of the ild then we have to start the treatment this is basically lifestyle modification we have to take a good diet we have to stop uh, smoking and alcohol and we have to uh, see the occupation of the patient Uh, simultaneously if the patient is working uh, uh, occupation is the cause we have to remove that cause there are drug treatment three types of drugs are there one is steroid group second is immunosuppressant the third one is anti fibrotic agents initially we start high dose of steroid and simultaneously we taper off if we are dealing with ild due to connective tissue disorder we have to give some immunosuppressant just like azathioprine sle uh, azathioprine and methotrexate mycophenolate like drugs and if we are dealing with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis then there is no role of these drugs we have to give anti fibrotic drugs just like nintanamide or perfenidone 
if the patient is going to improve with, with this medication then we have to put the patient on uh, other things just like pulmonary rehabilitation and vaccination also simultaneously if the patient is not going to uh, improve then we have to offer the patient oxygen therapy and positive uh, airway therapy so basically it is a systemic disease we have to evaluate patient in totally and in majority of the patient we can uh, control the symptoms improve the quality of the life and in the remaining case we have to offer oxygen therapy and simultaneously we have to refer always a specialist doctor for the final outcome thank you